Hello and welcome to Dhyas Fun Play. In today's video, let's learn what is a food chain. A food chain shows us the flow of energy and nutrients in an ecosystem. A food chain shows how different living organisms depend on each other for food. In short, a food chain shows who eats whom in the wild. The food chain starts with producers like grass and plants. For example, grass produces its own food using sunlight, carbon dioxide, water and the nutrients in the soil. A rabbit eats the grass for its survival. Then a fox eats a rabbit for its survival. Finally, when the fox dies, bacteria breaks down the fox's body thereby returning it to the soil where it decomposes and provides nutrients for plants and grass to grow. This cycle happens again and again and is called a food chain. There are many different types of plants and grass that a rabbit can eat. Similarly, a fox can also eat many different types of animals other than rabbits. Each of these living things can be a part of many interconnected food chains in an ecosystem called a food web. Producers make up the first level of every food chain. Producers are also known as autotrophs. Autotrophs are generally plants or one-celled organisms. Almost all autotrophs produce its own food using sunlight, carbon dioxide and water. Grass, plants, algae, seaweed and phytoplankton are all producers. The second level consists of living organisms that eat the producers. They are called primary consumers or herbivores. Secondary consumers in turn eat the primary consumers and tertiary consumers eat the secondary consumers. There may be many more levels of consumers before a food chain finally reaches its top predator. Top predators are also called as apex predators who eat the consumers. For example, grass is eaten by a grasshopper. The grasshopper is then eaten by a bird. The bird is then eaten by a snake. The snake is then eaten by an eagle who is an apex predator. Finally, when the eagle dies, decomposers like fungi and bacteria breaks up the dead eagle and completes a food chain. Decomposers turn organic waste such as decaying plants and animals into inorganic materials such as nutrient-rich soil. Decomposers complete the food cycle by returning the nutrients back to the soil or ocean for use by autotrophs or producers. This process starts an entirely new food chain and goes on and on. Thanks for watching the S1 Play. See you in the next video. Subscribe for more videos. Light up, subscribe right here, right now. Don't forget to press the bell icon. The choice is yours. The S1 Play.